I'm going to review examples A and B together. Uh, first what I'll do is just graph uh, y equals square root of x, which is the parent function for both A and B on our graph here. Uh, we'll just put in some values for x. I'm going to choose all uh, perfect squares so that I don't have to do any weird calculations. Uh, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3. So we should have points at 1, 1, uh, 4, 2, and 9, 3. So right about here. So the standard, the parent for this uh, function looks like this. And you'll see that all the values for x, the left and right values, are positive because that's the only thing that's under the root and we can't take the square root of a negative number. Now what we're really doing here is identifying what happens as we add or subtract values outside of the square root and then add or subtract values underneath the square root. So what I'm going to do is jump over to the Desmos graphing calculator here. I've already graphed y equals square root of x. What I'm going to do is graph y equals the square root of x minus 2. Now this is underneath the root. And you can see that by add, uh, subtracting 2, I've moved my graph to the right two units, 1, 2. So if I subtract a value underneath the root, a negative value, a subtracted value, moves the graph to the right. If I were to add 2, now I move the graph to the left. See, so it moves two places to the left. Here's the original in the red, and the new one in the orange has now moved two places to the left. So adding values underneath the root, positive values under the root, under, <laughs> under the root, <laughs> move it to the left and negative values move it to the right. Now let's see what happens as we add values outside of the root. So if we subtract, here we have our standard, let me erase this other junk. Okay, here we have our standard value again, y equals root x. If we then subtract a value outside of the root, move over one Laramie, there we go. Now our graph moves down. Let me move a picture up here a little bit, yeah. Now our graph moves down two units. So a vertical change occurs, and now it occurs a little more the way you might expect, since I've subtracted a negative, or subtracted a, a value from it, may combine it with a negative value, my graph goes down, and we think of negative as being down. So that, that works a little better. The left and right one seems backwards, but the up and down one works the way we might expect. If I were to add 2, plus 2 here, now you can see that the graph actually moves up 2 units. So adding a number outside of the uh, square root symbol changes our function by moving it north or moving it up two units. And obviously, the more we add, the higher the number we add, the more it moves up. If I were to add 6, then I get a, a vertical jump of 6. If I were to subtract 4, then I get a vertical drop of 4. So the, what we're after here is to recognize that changing the value underneath the root makes a left or right change in the location of our graph, and changing the value outside of the root makes a vertical or an up-down change um, to, our, to our graph.